Okay, I'm going to do one more thing here um, before setting you off to work on your first project. And that is to show you a little bit about working with stills. So we're going to first, we're going to import again, import media. Um, I'm going to go over to pictures. I'm just going to, let's see. Mm, we'll pick uh, 176. Open there. Now, here you'll see all you see are videos. Here, all you see are still images. And we haven't imported any sounds yet, but if we had, we would see only those. Um, I'm going to go back to images. If I turn that off, I see everything. And I'm going to drag this image in here. I'm just going to put it there for a second. I'm going to put rippling. I'm going to put that there. Turn rippling off. Drag in my image. Now, images default to about five seconds. I can drag it a little longer. And then by turning rippling oops, back on, I can uh, turn it on. So I have a little bit of a transition there. Now the cool thing about this is I can do pan and zoom. So you see when the picture comes in, uh, it'll be full frame. I want to match my project aspect. That means we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. I want to do that in both cases. And then I'm going to zoom in and hit preview. See what that looks like up here. Okay, good. Stop. Now, um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Uh, here's the end of the first video. Jump cut to the second video. Jump cut to the image without sound. You see the zooming in, and now there's a um, crossfade transition to another video. And hit stop. Finally, if you want to drag in some music, you would do that the same way. You simply go to import media, you choose your music. Uh, let's do that import um, music, my music, and we'll just we'll just pick something up there. Oh. That's a JPEG. Uh, how about talking to Buck 2? There we go. It shows up there. I can drag it down here as a music track uh, because I have my rippling on. It pushed everything back. So I'm going to Control Z, take my rippling off it in there and you can do the same thing for the music track which is you can just drag it to clip it obviously um, and I want it to end right there I can also see how my cursor turns to a hand and that's a fade okay so now you'll see by going to the start, now you can hear the music in the background, which you'll get a better when we reach the hear the music. And then if I skip up to here, the music will fade. I can actually drag that out, and I'm done.